Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm turning these toys into home decor. Something a little bit different. I found this beautiful horse sculpture on Pottery Barn's website for $197. Very pricey. So I want to make it cheaper. I'm using this toy Barbie horse I found at a thrift store. It's the perfect size. First, I need to drill a hole on the bottom to fit in my dowel. I'm using spackling to cover the whole horse. Oops, I forgot to cover all the holes, so I'm doing it now with green tape. Then I give the horse a good sanding. To give the horse more texture, I'm mixing in baking soda into the paint. Then I work on the stand. I'm using this dowel and this scrap piece of wood, painting them both black. Then I use different paints to sponge on the horse. Wow, I really love how it turned out. Let's see how much this cost me. I found the Barbie horse at a thrift store for $3. The spackling was $12 for the tub. I'll add $3 for what I used. The scrap piece of wood was something I had laying around. The dowel is from a pack of dowels, so let's add a quarter for that. And for the paints and baking soda, I'll add another dollar. So this Pottery Barn dupe cost me only $7.25. Wow, tell me what you think down below. 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Bye for now. I found this really cool sculpture on Wayfair's website. It sells for $188 Canadian, but I want to make it cheaper. I'm using this Barbie head as my mold. I attached a piece of paper roll around the neck and covered the face with saran wrap. I'm using this air dry clay I bought at the dollar store. I'm not an artist, I'm a crafter, so I hope this turns out looking good. I placed the clay on her face and started shaping it with my fingers and some tools. and I let it dry overnight. It's starting to look really cool. I sanded some of the edges to give it a smoother surface. I'm gluing a dowel to the back to hold it up. I'm going to apply more clay to the back so there's more surface for the glue. And I'm adding a little bit more clay to the front to cover a couple of holes and to smooth out more edges. While that's drying, I grab some wood circles and glue them together. Now I need to find the center of the circle so I can drill a hole for the dowel. It was hard finding the center, so I looked online to see if there was an easier way to find the center of a circle. I found this video, but it was really complicated. There was a lot of math. There's got to be an easier way. I grabbed a scrap piece of paper, traced out the circle, cut it out, and then folded it a couple of times, and then cut the corner, and then there's my center. So much easier. I drilled my hole but my drill bits are so small, so I had to keep drilling until the hole got bigger. I need some new tools. Dowel fits. The extra clay I applied to the back didn't work, it dried and then it just fell off. I gave the face mask another sanding.
I cut down the dowel with my fancy miter set. And now the mask is dry and ready for painting. I painted the whole mask with this gold as well as the dowel and got my other golds and sponged the rest of the paints together. I gave the base a couple of coats with this flat black because that's all I had. Now everything is painted, I just have to put it all together. I glued the dowel to the face mask with hot glue. But I want it to be more secure because it is a bit heavy so I grabbed some scrap vinyl and I glued those pieces onto the back. It doesn't look great but at least I know it won't fall off. Then I applied some glossy black nail polish to the stand. I really love how it turned out. Now let's see how much I spent. I didn't really buy anything for this dupe. I had the clay and all the paints, but I'm going to estimate the cost and how much I used to get the final tally. I bought the Barbie head at the thrift store for $3. I didn't buy it for this project. I just bought it for my other channel. I didn't destroy the doll head so I could still use it, but I'm still gonna add the $3. I got the clay from the dollar store for $1.50. I only used a small part of it, so let's add a quarter for that. I used wood rounds, also from the dollar store. It cost $2, and I used the whole package. The dowels are a part of the package. I only used one, so let's add another quarter. The small little wood ring was also from another package of many, so I'll add another quarter for that. The paints are from a package of six gold tones I bought from Amazon. Let's add $2 for the paint that I used. And let's add another 50 cents for the black paint and nail polish. So the total for this dupe is $8.25. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe and please turn on notifications for all videos. Bye for now.